What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, we're going to have a look at a curiosity photo from Sal1109. And of course, you folks will always get the links to these photos. Now, this photo, like every other photo from NASA, JPL, and even uh, like China on the moon and on Mars, they're, they're playing these games with either uh, too dark of a photo, too light of a photo. You have a light source in the background, but yet the background is dark, which makes zero sense. I don't care if it's dusk or dawn. Unless there's a mountain there casting a shadow, you should see that background pretty much lit up like the foreground is, right? Kind of makes sense. Now, I've seen this photo and somebody claimed that there was some kind of little creature next to the tool head on the arm of the rover, right? And uh, I don't see that at all. Let's just jump right into the photo and where you can get it. All right, you can see right here, you can see the top of the photo says Curiosity Front Right Hasgam. And up in the address bar, it's midnightplanets.com. And you can see it is from the MSL, which is the Curiosity Rover or the Mars Science Laboratory, right? And you can see image 1109. I said in the background, you can see up on the upper left, it's like this like glaring light type thing, right? Um, if it's dusk or dawn, you would think the background would be more lit, kind of like where it is at the rover. But yet, that's not the case at all. Now, I get the idea on the right-hand side. We have what looks like a mountain or whatever. And I don't believe that's a mountain either, but that's beside the point. Um, so I can understand that being darker over here to the left, not so much. And it seems like these people get more and more brazen where you can start to see what looks like shapes and things that do not belong on a planet that should have nothing or anything that really lived as far as civilization, meaning, you know, people like ourselves or uh, intelligent beings, period, right? So let's get into Photoshop because I want to show you this thing up close. It's pretty wild. Okay, so you can see this here. We're going to go right to the tool head itself. You can see it right here. So they were thinking that right here, this area, they said it was some kind of little weird creature. Well, that's not true. There's a bunch of tools on this head itself. Um, like here, these are guides for the actual drill. So this whole head will swivel. These pins will actually touch the ground, and the drill is basically in the center of these pins, right? Right now, it's got the, uh, I believe it's the spectrometer that's on top of this flat rock, or supposed flat rock. But anyway, that, this is what this thing's supposed to be doing, checking it out. So they might have drilled it, and now they're checking out with the multi-spectrometer, right? So, again, I don't understand why this is not brighter in the back, but you will when you understand what's in the background, right? So just this area alone, folks, that's it. Just proves it all. You can actually see the straight lines without doing anything to this photo. Now, there is a separation here. It does this, it appears, and you'll see that in a moment. We have what looks like this area here doing this and a lower piece, but it seems like it's doing that and all of this area right here. Now, there's a bunch of things laying here, folks, but they're taking this stuff out. So we want to bring the lines out as always and see what we can find, right? Okay, so let's just brighten it up and see what we come up with. Now, let me go ahead and rotate this a hair bit so you're not having to tilt your head to the left and you can see that. Folks, come on. Look at this. Look at this background. Look at the shapes of these things. Now, I believe, and I'm going to go back here to the original. I believe that this is nothing more than a template. You can see like this fudge line or blur line, call it what you will. I believe what's sitting here is actually much taller. I don't care what they are. I'm just drawing any shape at this point. It's like they're just trying to fudge it so you don't see any of this. So I believe a lot of this on the top is absolutely bogus, right? So again, let's brighten this up, and you can see these areas here. Folks, have a look at the white piece here, this piece here. What you will see also, you can see it right here. You can actually see this piece doing this, and then this piece coming out, going like this. But you'll see other objects, and you see them just faintly right here. You can, it looks like it's doing like this here, and then it goes off into this manipulation right you'll see other objects here as well okay all right so let's back out a little bit now let's go a couple of steps ahead and see what we can find okay so right off the bat we can see these other weird pieces starting to pop out 
We also have this area right here. If you notice right here, it has a darker area, almost like if you took a dark fingerprint and just kind of stuck it onto a photo, right? But what are they doing that for? Well, if you look at this piece here, it appears to be some kind of weird pipe. It stops. Wait a minute. It doesn't stop. It keeps going through this area. But the idea is to block your eyes from seeing the whole object. And you can see it. If you look carefully, you can see that object going right behind or underneath this slightly darkened area. And you can see that what looks like a weird pipe. We're starting to see objects up here. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add a little brightness to the parts that are already white or brighter than the other pieces around it. And let's have a better look. All right. So this part of the photo alone, what looks like objects all over this, you can see what looks like a pipe right here. You can see it coming out, going back in. Folks, see that? We have this white object like I mentioned earlier. Also take note of this piece right here. Appears to have a piece sticking out, do doing this. Another piece sticking out, going back in. It's some kind of machinery, in my opinion. That's what I believe this to be. I'm not sure what to make of any of this. You can see this looks like it kind of goes down like this here a little bit and comes back down like this. Again, we have that weird looking pipe thing right here, right there. And then we go over to the right hand side of this, like I said, doing this. This piece coming out doing this. And like I said, folks, just alone, you can see this going like this, but it looks like it's doing this under it. Like there's a space between this concaved area as well as this piece above it, and it might be casting a shadow under it. At least that's the way it appears. We have this small circle type thing, maybe connected to it or just adjacent to it, right? In my opinion, this looks like framework. This does not look like simple gravel, boulders, or any of that sort, right? It appears to be something much more than that. We can even back up a little bit. And you can start to see these things. I'm just going to go step back a little bit at a time, just so you can see these actual lines are, in fact, there. Now, again, really dark. And all we're going to do is just bring up the exposure. And like I said, folks, I don't have to do anything to this photo. Here it is right here. What do you suppose we're looking at here? This is the finished product. Now, to the right, we got a little bit of things right here. There's something I believe is right here, but you really can't see that too clearly. However, you can see right here, if we zoom in a hair bit, just very, very small details. Only like this, and then back down, straight piece. You can see like what looks like these, like I said, weird shapes in here. I believe this whole object here is a structure as well. Have a look at the way this thing comes out like this. Okay. This has been covered and manipulated as well. You can just see the blurring in it. But to me, that 100% is not a mountain or hill. Now back out a little bit. And again, folks, I don't even have to enhance this. I think that's pretty darn cool. And it seems like they're just getting more and more brazen and they're leaving these things out. Why would they be doing that? Unless they were trying to let this stuff out slowly, right? We have something up here too. I don't know if you've seen that, but up here, right here at the very top, right there, top left corner, we have something right there just below the arm. You can see it's on the rover. But what I find interesting is that this haziness in the background is literally in front of the arm where it should be showing a more of a shadow and it's not, okay? Now, let me just back out of this. I think what we're seeing here is more mechanical parts in an area that clearly had a purpose. What it is, we don't know. But to me, that looks mechanical. I see pipes. I see what looks like foundations of something. What these things are, haven't got a clue. And I think we may be looking at something that if we were to do this in the background hand, they show the real background, we would see a lot bigger structures behind this.
but they're just trying to do this like, oh, yeah, look, there's nothing here. They want you to concentrate on the more brighter areas. Oh, they're just like they're drilling, doing their thing, looking at rocks. That's not the case, folks, at all. And again, here in the background. Here's the original, folks. Just pause it right here. Have yourself a look. Even if we were to look at this this part right here, notice the way this thing has a smooth elbow to it. I'm going to just kind of mess that up, but you get the idea. Right there. Come on. But that's the original right here. Bring up the exposure. Have a look. Fully enhanced. And again, this pipe thing is really here. I can still see it right here, the curvature of it. So this is, in fact, there. Folks, this is what they're looking at. <laughs> I mean, there it is, right? And there you go. Folks, you can't help but to laugh at these photos, although I am grateful because if somebody's in there kind of saying, okay, well, why don't we just slide these things in? Maybe it's to desensitize the public. It's the only thing I can think of. Are they just getting sloppy with their work? I don't think so. Or maybe they are. Who knows at this point? Maybe they're just hoping, you know, not a whole lot of people look at these, so who cares, right? The people would just be trying to guess what it is instead of, you know, really drilling into these things. They're just going, well, they're just thinking some kind of weird landscape and won't think nothing of it. To me, when you have these objects, it's one thing to have like a flat, like that flat area in the middle, which looks more whiter, right? It's one thing to have that, but then you have this other area. It looks like a foundation or some kind of constructed part. Then go all the way to the left, and there's other parts laying on the ground. Wait a minute. One thing, eh, it could be a flat rock. Could very well be. And, you know, if that's all you saw, you'd just be scratching your head going, uh, maybe it's nothing. But when you start to see other objects to the right and to the left of it, you can only come up with one conclusion. This is intelligently made, and it was absolutely life on Mars. Folks, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Please like and share the video. It is always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube shares it. Folks, make sure you join me tomorrow, Saturday afternoon at 3 p.m. Eastern time for our weekly hangout. I'll see you folks there. Anyway, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.